everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy from CloseThatExplosion.com. The next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. So I hope you're doing well today. I'd like to discuss with you how to set up a wholesale global business. A global business is basically a business that sells merchandise outside of the country that the business operates in. So for instance, I have a wholesale business in New York, and I sell wholesale merchandise to stores in Africa, to stores in the Caribbean, to stores in Latin America, to stores in Europe, and so on. So you can set up your wholesale global business by one way is by deciding which country you want to sell to or by researching the needs of different countries and then seeing what is needed in a certain country and then looking for wholesale products that can fulfill that need. Now, once you've decided to which country you're going to sell to, I would recommend you set up a website and make it very clear on that website that you sell, that you export to that country, that you have shipping companies that can facilitate the shipping, whether you're shipping you know, on a prepaid basis or have to pay for the shipping up front or on a freight collect basis where the customers can pay for the shipment when the order arrives in their country. Now, the actual merchandise, of course, you want to be paid up front unless you know who you're selling to and you decide you want to give them credit. But I would recommend getting paid up front. You can accept payment by credit card, wire transfer, Western Union, MoneyGram, or get someone come to your warehouse and pay in person in your warehouse. Now, when you sell your products, you want to, of course, do your research to make sure that you have the right products for the right country. You want to find out what brands do they need, what styles, what colors, what styles, and so on. Now, when you advertise, you want to find, you know, you want to find a very good target. I mean, you want to, you want to be very focused on who you're looking to sell. Now, one way to reach customers without even advertising is to go online, look for the equivalent of the yellow pages, and then get a list of stores in the country that you're selling to. Call up those stores and offer them the merchandise you have. Send them an email. Give them a link to your website. And let them know that they can send someone to your warehouse. You know, I invite people to come to my warehouse. This way they can send a relative or a friend if they want to see what I have available. Or if they themselves travel to New York, they can visit my warehouse and purchase the merchandise right in my warehouse. So you want to give them that option. You want to let them know that that option is available. You should also have, you know, references so they can feel more comfortable and secure when it comes to buying from you. And as far as your merchandise, you do want to find wholesale merchandise. But what I mean by by making sure you find the right merchandise is make sure that you buy it at a price that will allow you to sell it at a price that they can afford to sell it. Meaning, let's say you're selling brand name dresses and you buy brand name dresses for me for $20 and you want to sell them for $30. Make sure that they have customers that they can sell those dresses to for $50 or whatever price you need to sell it at. But the key is to buy the merchandise at a price that will allow you to sell it at a profit, but that you'll be able to sell it to someone who then they can resell it in their country. Now, if you're selling directly to consumers, then you just want to make sure you buy the merchandise at a wholesale price that allows you to sell it at a markup where consumers in that country can afford to buy that merchandise. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. The next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. Oh, and as far as advertising, that's important. You can use Google AdWords. You can use Facebook marketing. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can write articles, make YouTube videos, and you use keywords that are targeted to the customers and the country that you are selling to. Okay, the next time you're in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. My website is closed at explosion.com. Thank you and have a great day.